Good morning, everybody. How are we all? Welcome to what I think is about to be the most confusing vlog I've ever done. We're going to go back in time, forward in time, back in time again. Right now, we're in present time. But this vlog has stretched over two weeks. I've picked up my vlog camera at different times and I edited it all last night and I kind of feel like it doesn't make a lot of sense. So I just wanted to start the video in real time. We're going to have a little chat. I'm going to do my makeup with you and then we'll carry on to what I've been doing the last two weeks. And hopefully that way it might make a little bit more sense. You're also the first people I've spoken to this morning. So my voice feels slightly croaky. <laughs> Quickly, just to tell you what I've done so far. So Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream as my moisturiser. I don't need to tell you guys how much I love this stuff. It is my favourite ever. Of course, I then did a little bit of SPF. And then I did the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. I used to love this product so much. Like, I can't tell you how many bottles of it I got through. And then I just kind of forgot about it. And the other day I was shopping on Space NK because all of these products I'm about to use and show you are from Space NK. Because I'm very proudly working with them in this video. So everything I featured, I will link down below. But yeah, I was shopping on Space NK and I saw they did this. And I thought, Do you know what? Why did I ever stop using it? Like, I love it. So I got it in shade four and I've just used it as my base. Then next, I am applying a foundation that is the lightest foundation I've ever used in my entire life. I saw this hyped on TikTok, if I'm honest, and this is a foundation from, I hope I'm gonna say this right, but Shantakai. It basically melts into your skin. If you like fuller coverage, this will not be for you. But what I've been really enjoying using it for is almost like a base before I put on a light layer of foundation. It basically gives that whole kind of like your skin but better. It feels like there's nothing on your skin. Such a beautiful product. It was expensive and I was kind of reluctant to get it because I'd never tried it before, but I went for it. I got it in the shade Cream. In the pot, it looks kind of too orange for me, but once it's on my skin, I feel like it's actually a really good colour match. Next, I'm going to do a really light layer of the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Punjab. Love this foundation. It's so glowy. And of course, you can also get this on Space NK. I love Space NK, guys. They have so many different beauty brands and products to choose from. I could honestly spend a small fortune on there. Well, I, I genuinely do. And they do the most incredible next day delivery service, which is so great if you're impatient like me. Like when I get something in my head that I want to try, I want to try it there and then. So the fact that I will have it in my hands the next day to use it is just a game changer. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of contour. I haven't even used this yet. This is from Rare Beauty. And I got this in the shade Always Sunny. I wish it was always sunny. Okay, maybe this is a little bit dark. I've had good things about this though, so should we just go for it? Yeah, I feel like, guys, it's a bit dark. I feel like once it's blended out though, it might be fine. I actually love creamy products. Like, I used to use a lot of powders, and I feel like they kind of dry your skin out, and then they go a little bit patchy. So for me, any cream product is just my favourite nowadays. Do you know what? I thought this is blending out to be really nice. I actually haven't even explained. So guys, I started this vlog two weeks ago because some of you might have realised I missed last week's upload. I am sorry. I don't know what's been going on in my life right now. Everything has just been very chaotic and crazy and I just haven't had time. And I know that's really an annoying thing to say because it looks like I have all the time in the world. It looks like I'm doing all these fun things. But really, I'm like working a lot behind the scenes and I'm not trying to make excuses, but I missed last week's vlog. So this vlog is gonna be an accumulation of last week and this week. I was actually gonna scrap the entire vlog because it got so confusing that I was just like, I don't really know what's going on myself. But I feel like the footage is actually quite good. I'm just hoping it all makes sense when it all joins together. I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush, but it's the liquid one, which I love. But the only thing I'd say is it's very, very pigmented. So really you only need half a pump and then just onto the apples of my cheeks really lightly because otherwise you can end up looking like a doll because it comes out like so pigmented. For a highlight, I'm gonna do the Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade Enlighten. This is another product you need to put on so lightly because it's very heavy. Like it's a great highlight, but use it sparingly. I had a bit of a disaster yesterday and I smashed what was left of my Charlotte Tilbury. Flawless finish. Why do they call everything flawless something in Charlotte Tilbury? I don't get it. But I smashed my powder and I'm so sad. This is honestly the best powder in the world. But I'm actually going out today. They've actually got a huge new Space NK on the King's Road. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to go buy a new one because truthfully, it's a makeup product I can't live without. It's the best for setting your makeup. 
and no other powder compares. The mascara today I used a mascara that I never usually use. It's from Hourglass and it is called Extreme Caution Mascara. Truthfully, the only reason I used it is because I couldn't find my Hourglass Unlocked one, which is such a good mascara. This is also good, but the Unlocked one is the best, I'm gonna be honest. This is more of a like a brushy, like a bristly brush, where the unlocked one is a rubber brush. And I personally prefer a rubber brush. I feel like everything's a tongue twister today. For my lips, I'm gonna use my Vive lip liner, which I actually bought a few weeks ago from Harrods and I've not stopped using, but I've seen they also sell it on Space NK. I've got the shade Brat and for me, it is the perfect kind of like peachy nude. And I can always kind of build it up. So if I want it a little bit darker, I can apply it a little bit harder. If I just want a very like natural lip, apply it lightly and I honestly love it. And the consistency of it is so good. It's almost like creamy. And then for gloss, I'm just gonna use my Summer Fridays lip balm in the shade Vanilla, which I found at my parents' house. I think I said it in a recent video that I couldn't find it. I thought it was gonna be one of my handbags, but my mum sent me a picture of it on my window ledge at home. Um, so when I've just been home this weekend, which by the way, we're gonna go home in this vlog. But yeah, when I was at home, I made sure I got it back. And it literally tastes and smells like vanilla. I mentioned these in a video not so long ago. These are really lovely and glossy. That's why I like to wear them over a lip liner. They're not the most hydrating like balms in all the world. But I still really like them. If you want one with a little bit of colour, get the pink sugar one. Love that. So this is today's Ow makeup look. And I feel like I actually did that really quickly for me. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's very full coverage, but it feels so lovely and light on my skin. And yeah, I've been really enjoying these products. But as I've already mentioned, I will link all of the products and all of the colors of the products I've used down below. And now we're gonna rewind back in time. We have a lot going on in this vlog. I hope so much you enjoy it. As always, thank you for watching. And next week we'll be back in normal time. But I do hope all of this vlog makes sense. Enjoy guys. <laughs> Can you hear that noise in the background? I think it's clay pigeon shooting. I might be wrong, but I think that's what it is. Anyway, I'm currently at Soho Farmhouse and I thought I would take you guys to breakfast and show you our cabin. It's so cute here. Like I absolutely love coming here. I say that like I've been here loads. This is only my second time I've ever been. Quick outfit of the day because I love my cardigan. If you follow me on Instagram, sorry, I'm talking a bit loud and there's probably people that can hear me. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'd have already seen this outfit because I did a little mirror selfie. I'm back in my mirror selfie I hate calling everything an era because it's so cringe, but I'm back in my mirror selfie era. So cardigan is massive duty and so is the vest underneath. I have my Levi jeans on, you can't see, and have my Ugg Tasman, which are genuinely so uncomfortable. Like I love them because they give me a bit of height, but like this part across the top of my foot kills me. I don't actually know if I've got like deformed feet, like a very high instep, or this happens to everyone, but yeah i'm trying to stretch them out anyway, let me show you the cabin okay so this is our view you see there's a little cabin next door they've obviously got their log burner on because you can see the smoke coming from it i haven't even been around here you've got a little sofa It'd be so nice in the summer or even just wrapped up warm in coats sat out here then we have a seating area over here then we go into the cabin and it is so cute in here. Look, we've even got the log burner on which makes it so cozy and warm then this is the main cabin Reese is there doing some work. And then through here is the kitchen area. And this is also the entrance as well. Let me put the light on. So you've got an area where you can make tea and coffee. There's even um, kind of food and things in here. So you've got drinks, olives, cheese and butter and milk and things in here. We've actually eaten some of the snacks. <laughs> but there's a whole snack drawer as well. In the bigger cabins, this cabin I think only sleeps two. The kitchen area is much bigger. And then this is how it looks when you walk in. It kind of reminds me of a chalet when you go skiing. Like it's that kind of feel. And then up these steps just here into the bedroom area where I have to say the pillows well, just the whole bed in general, the comfiest pillows, especially, I have ever slept on. I actually took the cover off and took a picture of the label because I'm going to see if I can get them for home because they were just insane. But yeah, this is the bed area. There's another TV here, as you can see. Had a little snack last night. We actually ate in the restaurant here last night and the food was unreal. Then this is the bathroom. Very cute continuation of the wood effect well it is a cabin so you know this is the shower i actually haven't had a shower because i had two baths this bath i just said to reese my goal is to have a bath that fills up 
as quickly and as hot as this does. Honestly, you get like a full bath within, I want to say three to four minutes and it's piping hot. As you can see, I had a mint tea and some pretzels last night whilst in the bath. I'm actually leaving this here. I need to put it in the bin because I've just finished another pot of this quarterly body moisturizer, which is my absolute favorite. I love it so much, but I go through it so quickly. So I actually need to put that in the bin. Here they have cow shed products, which are really lovely, by the way. I did use some of the body lotion today because I ran out of that. But yeah, I love cow shed products. And in here, well, I won't show you, but it's just the toilet. Dressing gowns over here. And that's the little cabin we stayed in tonight. We only stayed for one night. We could definitely have stayed for longer though. But um, yeah, it's been a really lovely chilled evening. We're gonna head up now to go and get some breakfast. Um, and I'll show you as much as I can there, but I don't actually think I'm meant to film. And here's our cabin from the outside. And we're about to ride to breakfast. So here's our little bikes. <laughs> Reese is off to work, he's got his laptop with him. <laughs> I am so rubbish at riding a bike guys, honestly. I'd, I kind of knew it, but this trip has really made me realise how bad I am, like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Guys, look at the size of my breakfast. It looks unreal, but why I ordered this much food, I do not know. And Reese has got this. Nick and my beans. We've just left and it's raining, but you know that rain that makes you really wet? I know that sounds really stupid, but you know that fine rain that just soaks everything? That's what it's like, because my hair is not looking its best. We're actually on the way to Bista Village now. I have an outfit in the back that I'm actually gonna get changed and do, because I wore this yesterday, but I wanted to get a cute pic before we left, because we didn't get any pictures yesterday, because it was dark. We've arrived, but I need to get changed. So I'm just in the back. Look how nice the color of these seats are. Um, and I'm gonna put on a new outfit. So this is the apartment at Bista Village. I need to be quick and talk because I'm gonna get done for copyright with this music, but this is one little area. But there's people in here, so I don't wanna film too much, but it's absolutely huge and the decor is insane. And you can come here and get drinks. You can also do a service where they'll hold your bags for you whilst you shop. And it's just such a chilled, gorgeous space. Like it's given me all of the home in slow. And that whole area over there with the fireplace, one of the books like literally obsessed and the big high ceilings and there's also little changing rooms like this one just here probably not meant to be in here but let's just sneak in also quick outfit of the day because i've now got changed <laughs> my jumper or cardigan should i say is from h&m but i actually got this last year um, but i just really like it it's so easy to wear i have a cos t-shirt on underneath of course i do and then these jeans they're actually a little bit long for me i bought these the other day from harrods but they're from a brand called Truthfully, I've never actually shot with them before, so I think they're called A Goldie. I might be saying that wrong, but they just fit me other than the length really nicely. And I really needed a baggy black jean, but I am actually gonna get them taken up a little bit. And then I've got on my Ugg Tasman. Anyway, yes, yeah, so there's these little change rooms you can come and try things on that you've seen in the shops from the village, which is really lovely. You know, you like it's like stress-free shopping. You get fresh juice and croissants and apples and even a horse head <laughs> look at this look at the fireplace and let me show you the fireplace downstairs that we're actually going to go to the shops now it was raining a minute ago but now the sun's out this is so hard i'm actually making a tiktok and i'm also trying to do youtube at the same time i don't think i'm meant to be filming <laughs> but let's just have a quick look this coat is lovely do i need another brown coat though absolutely not but cute Guys, they have so many of the Prada sparkly shoes, like the loafers, and also these. Look at them. I'm obsessed. I wish the heel was a bit higher. Uh, look at these. No, I'm actually obsessed. And these, I don't have my size in gold. They've actually got loads of coats. Usually they have like the faux fur on them, but this year they have the normal ones too. There are so many. Um, puffers for men in here. We've got all these khaki ones, blue, black. Reese is gonna try this one on. Look at all these teddy coats. Look at this one. Let me zoom out. I mean, stunning. Let me show you what the price is like though. Mm. There we go. It's a gorgeous coat. Yeah. 
I love these boots from Jimmy Choo, but they just kind of sit on me wrong. Like, can you see they come too high to my knee? They're so nice. Look at these shoes. Sorry, I cannot. They're in Jimmy Choo. <laughs> Sorry for my terrible camera work in YSL. I wasn't really meant to be filming, but I wanted to show you guys what they had. And that's why I'm currently doing a voiceover. But yeah, I love these shoes. And there were so many different bags to choose from and some really lovely colors as well. Do you know what? I really need a new suitcase that I'm in Samsonite. Um, and these look so good. I've heard really good things. My mum recently got a Samsonite suitcase and this is so light. And they're also really big. They do a bigger size than this as well. I feel like I need one of these. We are going to Chaconis for some lunch. Love it in here, the decor is so nice. But I've had all the home inspo with Soho House and um, here for the last 24 hours. I feel like I need to eat a salad. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna get the mm, butter lettuce. Or maybe get the knocking. <laughs> Sorry that the filming in the shops has probably been very higgledy piggledy. I think some of it will have been done like on a phone and some of it flipped. So yeah, basically you're not really meant to film in some of the shops. So, you know, it had to be discreet, but I wanted to show you what was in there. So yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit all over the place. Look at this ricotta truffle. I don't even know what this is, bread. It looks insane. This is actually my idea of heaven. And Reese has got, um, our mains have arrived. I have got a capri salad, which looks absolutely delicious. And Reese has got prawn pasta, which he's probably not going to eat, which means I can eat that as well. And we've also got chips. They say he's not going to eat because we're so stuffed from breakfast still. It has been a few days since you last saw me. Maybe it's even been a week. I've changed my nail colour. Still not sure how I feel about it. It's meant to be like a wine red. They're basically black. I have grown a second head. I have, a, I have a bit of a spot issue going on at the moment. Basically, I got a bit cocky because my skin has been good for so long and I incorporated something else into my skincare routine that has broken me out so badly and it's just put me back in my place that I should just stick with my usual skincare regime. Anyway, I thought it'd be a good time to start the vlog again because we're packing tonight, nowhere exotic. I'm actually just going home to Kent, to my parents' house. I have a couple of deliveries, but first of all, I just got an Ando's. We're gonna eat an Ando's. And then I'm going to pack my suitcase. Nando's. I feel like we haven't had Nando's in so long. This is Reese's. Very healthy because I've got a gym guy nowadays. Chicken breast, broccoli, chips and coleslaw. And I have just got a chicken wrap and some chips. That has to be one of the worst Nando's I've eaten in my whole life. You know when the chips are kind of stale? The chicken was hard. It just wasn't it, you know. I don't know why I keep ordering stuff online all the time like on delivery because it never, well very rarely does it turn up and actually taste good. I just do it because it's quick and convenient. I can't believe how dark it is. It's half five and I feel like I need to put a ring light on because I feel like this is looking very dark right now. I actually have a few things to show you guys because last time I saw you, we were at Bista, which as I already mentioned, was actually over a week ago. Um, but we had a great trip there. I always love going to Bista. It's like a proper day out. You know, you can get some nice food. The shop's always lovely. So many good deals. I actually got this dressing gown, <laughs> which I've worn so much since. And actually, I opened a bronzer. Actually, my Mac gave me sun bronzer. And it cracked. And I didn't realise it. And when I opened it, it went all over my brand new dressing gown, which was really annoying. But it's from the White Company. This is actually my third one of this particular dressing gown. And I just love it. It's really lightweight. So when I'm getting ready, it doesn't make me too hot. Because I don't know if any of you are like this. But when you're drying your hair and then you have a thick dressing gown on, it's just hell. Guys, it's so dark. Should I turn a light on? Okay, the light doesn't work. So... That's not an option. But anyway, I got this dressing gown. Also got a puffer coat, bear with. It looks like this. It's from Prada, can you see? The little logo just here. And it's in a really gorgeous khaki color. And I can't lie, this is something that I actually saw in the men's section. It's a man's coat, but I feel like it's unisex. Anyone could wear it. But I saw it, really liked it, and then Reese tried it on. And then I looked it on him and he was like, why don't you try it on? I tried it on and on him it's more fitted, on me it's very oversized. But is this cringe? I don't know if this is cringe, but we actually got it because we were like, we can share it. 
We do actually share a couple of denim jackets. <laughs> and also some t-shirts as well. But we justified the purchase because we feel like we'll both get some use out of it this winter. And because it's khaki, it looks like new season Prada because they've released a camo and khaki collection. And it looks really similar. And I know you're all going to ask what the price was, but it was £840 down from £1,680. Which I think is an absolute steal. I mean, it's still a lot of money, 860 quid, but for a coat that's gonna last years, I think it's so good. And also, I have another Prada coat, but it's very cropped. I wanted something a little bit longer. Um, from I actually bought that three years ago. Still love it, still wear it. Or was it two years ago? I think it was two years ago, actually. Either way, it was a good few winters ago, and I still love it just as much. Such a good investment piece. Cost per wear ends up being minimal because you wear it so much. So yeah, this is what we picked up. He got some stuff from the Nike outlet and a pair of swim shorts. And there was actually so much stuff that I wanted or could have got. I was tempted to get a new Burberry trench. I already have one, but I was tempted to get like another one. They have so many Burberry trenches. They have a Burberry shop at Bista. So if you're ever after a trench coat, that's the place to go and they had a gorgeous teddy coat in Max Mara. There's just so many good pieces there. Um, my nan actually doesn't live too far from Bista, so I think I'm actually gonna go back up in a couple of weeks when I go to visit her. I've just picked a spot on my face, it looks so bad, and it's also so dark. Guys, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Kent. It's such a beautiful day. The sun is shining so bright. The neighbour is cutting the lawn, so I'm sorry if you can hear a lawnmower in the background. It's very on and off, but with the sound of someone cutting their grass and the beautiful sunshine, it feels like the height of the summer. It's really weird. I think my camera lens is dirty. I have to say this morning, I am feeling slightly fragile to say the least. I've just had a cup of paracetamol. I went out last night with my friends. We went to Maidstone. I don't feel like we've been out in Maidstone in like 10 years. It was actually a really good day. We went to a brunch and um, I just feel like it doesn't matter where you are. If you're with good company, you're going to have a good time. The reason I've turned the vlog camera on though is because I have something to show you which I bought and I need your opinion on it. So I ordered this from Matches and I have actually had my eye on it for a little while and some of you might remember that I bought a pair of Gucci shoes like... I want to say about six months ago, I didn't know whether to keep them or not. I ended up keeping them and I absolutely love them. I don't have them with me, but I'll insert a photo of the shoes that I'm talking about. But they just go with so much. They kind of jazz up any outfit and they are so incredibly comfortable. Like, I love them. So because I have those shoes, I kind of wanted a bag to match. I know that is very matchy-matchy, but like, I always like that. So... I bought this. I'd never actually seen it before in real life. I'd just seen it online. And I saw a few people on Pinterest with it as well. And I really loved it. But I did the matches like 90 minutes delivery, which is so unreal. If you live, I think it's just London, on matches, you can place an order and it will arrive in 90 minutes, which is honestly insane. And I think I really love it. It's kind of giving vintage. Like, my nan actually has a vintage Gucci bag, which looks really similar. Nan, if you're watching this, you'll know exactly which bag it is I'm talking about. And as far as designer handbags go, it was actually really reasonably priced. Like, once again, as far as designer handbags go, because let's face it, they can be thousands of pounds, and this was around 900 pounds. And I feel like it's such a classic. I will have this forever. I feel like it will actually go with so much stuff. I mean, it's not going to fit loads in it, but it will definitely fit like your keys, a lipstick, like all of the essentials. And I think it looks really cute. I wish I had my shoes here to show you like them both together. But I really like it. I'm, I'm like actually surprised how much I love it. I also have these Ugg boots, which are in the antelope colour. I got these from Very. I feel like these are one together. How nice is that going to look? Like imagine this whole outfit like with the creamy neutral tones and then the handbag. I could actually wear this today. I feel like I might be a little bit hot in knitwear and I just kind of want to be comfortable and not overheating. But like, yeah, I just think this is actually gonna go with lows and so I wanted to show you it and also get your opinion. Like, do you like it? Anyway, should we do a quick outfit of the day? It's very simple and I feel like you've definitely seen it before. So my t-shirt is from Zara. It's actually a lot tighter than I remembered. 
Don't know whether that's because I put on weight or if it shrank in the wash. We'll just we'll stick to the fact it shrank in the wash, okay? Um, but yeah, just a black t-shirt. My belt is from YSL. This is the one that cost me £20 from Harrods because of my Harrods points. I've got my Levi jeans on, which I never stop wearing. I'm going to do my Ducey London leather jacket, which I love. It's cropped. And I just, yeah, I really like this. Then my Adidas Gazelle trainers. For my bag, I'm going to do my Chanel mini. And I actually have one other thing to show you guys. I need to take the jacket off because I'm going to get too hot. But I actually bought these sunglasses, I want to say, two weeks ago. And I haven't shown anyone of them yet. I bought these. I'm going to be honest, I hate to be that person. But Kylie Jenner fully influenced me to buy these sunglasses. She wore them to the Prada show. And I just fell in love and I ran to go and get them. So they're an oval shape. And then you'll see on the side, there is the little Prada logo. Is that focusing? I think it is. They're actually really tight to my head. Like they really bend in, which is a little bit odd. But if I put them on, whenever I put sunglasses on, it makes my camera go really bright. I don't know why, but this is how they look on. I mean, I just thought they were really cool. I definitely do not look like Kylie Jenner. I look better. I'm joking. I really, really like them. And I just think, like, nice on top of your head. Like, truthfully, I just love a sunglass when I can put them on my head. I feel like that is actually why I buy sunglasses for this, this look, which is probably really sad. It's so rare I actually wear them. I have this thing that when I wear sunglasses, I feel like I can't see or I feel like I can't hear. If I'm looking for something... Let's say I'm walking to somewhere and I've kind of lost my sense of direction and I have sunglasses on. I have to take them off so I can kind of like know where I'm going and what I'm doing. It's so bizarre. It's like the same thing as when you're in a car and you turn the music down to see where you're going. That's how I feel about sunglasses. Like, they just make me feel so odd unless I'm just sat wearing them. I don't know if anyone else can relate. Before I go, let's just have a quick look at the view. Can't come home without showing you the view. What a beautiful day. It's actually like a really nice day because it's sunny, but it's also crisp. Like it's actually quite cold. It's just my favourite kind of weather ever. And Chris is down here sunbathing. Are you in the sunshine, Chrissy? Are you? Oh, big yawn. You look like a snake. Chris. Oh, that's that then. Hi guys. Just turned up for lunch. I don't know if you can see me. It's so bright, but it's actually really icy cold. Me and Holly are here. Guys, trying to say hi to the vlog? Hi. <laughs> oh, the sun's behind you, you can't even see you. This is where we're going for lunch, we're going to the cave. Look how unreal this roast looks. The lighting here is really bad, so it's not like showing great on camera, but honestly, it looks so good. So good. Outside under the blankets, Holly. <laughs> How cute is it out here? It's actually freezing though. The fire's <laughs> roaring. It's actually really warm, isn't it? The fire. Can you feel the heat from it? And we're just waiting for a cup of tea. What grandmas we've become. Where's the wine? Do you know what I mean? We're all having tea. Look how lovely the setting is here. And it's right on a golf course. Can you see? Well, I'm sure you can see. Look, the trees, the buggies. So lovely. All I can say is if you have managed to follow this very confusing and all over the place vlog, then congratulations to you. I'm hoping the way I've edited it, it's going to make some kind of sense, but because it's been stretched over such a long period of time, it's, it's just all a little bit all over the place, you know? I've actually had three different nail colors in this vlog. We went from French to a very kind of dark red plum. It was basically black. Today, I've now gone to like a red wine burgundy. Like that's how long this vlog has been. To be fair though, the only reason I changed my nails is because I didn't actually like the last colour. I only had them for like five days or something. Anyway, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I promise you my next vlog will be slightly less complicated. And a little bit more in time with my actual life, you know. And I hope I will see a few of you there. Take care, have a good week and lots of love. Goodbye.